need for the Mamba mentality. Do you learn from your mistakes? Can you draw strength from your failures? Block out everything and be completely in the moment. Do you check your fear at the door? Are you willing to suffer for your dreams? That's the Mamba mentality. The continual quest to be great. So if you think you have what it takes, it's time to get started. Wayne Wade and LeBron James still haven't played together as Cavaliers, but Cleveland sure looks good with James' best friend on the court. Wade scored a team-high 20 points in 22 minutes in the Cavs' loss to the Indiana Pacers in a preseason game. James has yet to play since suffering a left ankle sprain September 27, the day Wade signed and first practiced with the team. For the second consecutive preseason game, the Cavs gagged away the lead with their reserves, this time coughing up a 10-point lead with 6 minutes to go and players who won't be counted on this season doing the damage. Wade, the 35-year-old and 12-time All-Star, shot 10 of 14 from the field and contributed 5 rebounds with 4 turnovers. He went baseline for a nasty dunk and also lofted deep, turnaround jumper that splashed, I don't know what happened. It was an out-of-body experience, Wade said of the dunk. It felt good though, felt good. Derek Ruse was brilliant in the first half, posting 15 points on 5 of 8 shooting with 3 assists. Rose was the lone starter not to return for the third quarter. He came out with his elbow heavily wrapped. Before the game, Rose had the elbow wrapped and told Cleveland.com he was experiencing soreness from the extra shooting he's taken each day at practice. E. Crowder contributed 17 points and 6 rebounds. Kevin Love added 9 points and 7 boards. He shot 4 of 12. The Pacers were playing in Cleveland for the first time since trading away Paul George. Remember, Indiana nearly traded him here, and on draft night changed course and shipped him to Oklahoma City. Pacers were led by TJ Leaf's 18 points, all in the fourth quarter. Dementus Sabonis, 17 points, and Victor Oladipo, 14 points, were the two players they acquired from the Thunder for George. James practiced Thursday, but Lou said his ankle was still a little sore, not fully recovered yet. He feels better, but not to where they want him to be to be ready to play, the man Shumpert, sprained left foot, and Sadie Osman, back spasms, were also out. Lou mixed up his rotation with the players he had available, removing Rose early in the first quarter so he could run the point with the second unit. Earlier in camp it appeared that Ro would belong to Wade and it may once the season starts, but with James out Wade has played in his spot with the starters. For us offensively, I want to continue to play with pace, Lou said. So LeBron and D. Rose in that starting lineup, they're both going to play with pace. I think playing D. Rose with that second unit will continue to keep our pace up. It's tough to ask D. Wade to push the ball every single time and get out in transition. Just see how it looks tonight and we'll go from there. Jeff Green was also an early for Smith. In Wednesday's preseason opener, Lou used the hockey line change substitution pattern for the, the entire first half. Hard to argue with the results of Lou's tinkering. The Cavs led 33-21 after one quarter and 59-48 at halftime. They were up by as many as 20 in the first half. I think the biggest thing is we're all trying to continue to get to know each other, Wade said. I had like four turnovers. Just trying to get to know the guys and guys trying to get to know me, but I definitely feel the moments in practice where we're. This information was published by the media Cleveland.com.
<laughs> it was out of body experience. <laughs> felt good though. It felt good. How do you feel? I mean, how do you feel about your game, just in terms of where you are this early in camp? Uh, I, mean, I think the biggest thing is we all just trying to continue to get to to know each other. Um, you know, I had like four turnovers just. You know, just trying to get to know the guys and trying to, you know, guys get to know me. But um, I definitely feel the, um, the the moments in practice where we're all learning. Um, you know, we're getting better. So, um, you know, conditioning would be, would come. You know, as we continue to keep playing, I think I, I felt better today. I know some of the guys did. Coach pushed us a little bit more today than he did last game. Try to get our legs. You know, sometimes you get tired out there and you just do stuff that you'd be like, why did I do that? Uh, when you get tired, but overall, you know, I think uh, you know the minutes that we're playing as starters right now, with all LeBron being in there, it's been good minutes. You mentioned some other things that you personally want to clean up with the turnovers, but but why do you think you have been so comfortable with being so new with this group? Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a, first of all, it's, just a, it's a veteran group, um, you know, and you know the guys welcome me in with open arms, and um, just you know, just we all just. We just fit, you know. Everyone just fit, you know. Ed Rose and Jay and everyone, you know. It's just, you know, it's, we all first of all happy to be playing together. You know, I think well, none of us can believe we are playing together still. Um, but uh, coach do a great job and the staff do a great job of, you know, breaking down each individual uh, teams and units where we get comfortable running our offense together. Um, a day like yesterday where we go to the game, we hang out together all night, you know, things like that is building bonds, building brotherhood, and it helps out on the basketball floor. So um, I think the biggest thing is that they just want everybody to play their games in the minutes that they have it, you know, bring what you bring to the game. And um, you know, that's what we're trying to do. You mentioned the, the live body factor. Uh, I think that's in terms of a lot of movement. Is that instinctual? Like the or is it you guys learning plays and reads? Yeah, it's just some of it is instinctual, but a lot of it is just you know, you know, kind of learning each other reads. You know, the biggest thing is when something happens on the court, we all communicate, we all talk about it when we're on the bench. Um, we talk about it in practice of ways, um, you know, what you like to do. And this is what I was thinking, and just constant communication. And um, like I said, obviously when we get back to. You know, full when Brown's back out there, we gonna have to learn. You know, all of us gonna have to learn even more. Most guys ain't played with him. It's a different beast, <laughs> you know, to play with um, with someone of his ability and attention that he uh, gained on the court. So we all gotta get used to that and ready for that. But um, just all about communication. And uh, like I said, Coach Nimmer's doing a great job. Of, you know, going over the offense, going over the defense, going over everything, so we can continue to learn it and learn each other. We we may care about this more than you do. Um, but when LeBron comes back, do you know what's going to happen with the lineup? Like, do you know what your role will be for instance? No. Um, um, I think you know, we all found out at the same time, and then we on the court, you figure it out. Um, you know, and I don't think no one's really concerned with that. You know, I, I, I think Jr. said the best. You know, if you came here, you come here understanding that um, you know you're a part of a team, and you're gonna have to sacrifice something, you know, to be here. Um, and this is all about winning. So I don't think no one's concerned about that um, at all in this team. Everyone's here, you know, for one reason, and uh, it's good. That's a good thing, you know. It's a comfort in that. So uh, whatever, the, whatever everyone's role is, you know, when you're on the floor, um, you know, you figure it out, and um, it'll be fine. Fourth Wednesday tonight, uh, you and LeBron were out there pregame the same time frame. Was it yeah. a carryover from Miami days? Happened, you that way? Uh, no, we talked about it. You know, I mean, new here, trying to figure out, you know, what, what to get in and figure, figure everything out. And I just told him I'm gonna be on his schedule. You know, and um, you know, we did uh, similar things in Miami, um, where we where we got to the gym at the same time, etc. And you know, we just continued that. Uh, so I just asked him what he do here, and I'm on the same plan he's on. You know, so getting here, you know, on the court soon as we get here, getting the weight room before the game, all the things that he do. Um, you know, I'm doing the same thing, you know, trying to get myself prepared and ready um, and try to keep my body as, as healthy as I can for this team um, you know, throughout this year. So I'm just following the leader um, in a sense. It's been so long. Are you itching to play with him? Uh, I mean, it's going to be it's definitely going to be fun. It's going to be cool. And like I said, I was, you know, talking to Jay and we were talking about the group. I was like, this is way too get out there with that guy. It's going to be different. <laughs> um, and, you know, so I'm, I'm more so than me, it's just, you know, to see the other guys play with him. And, I know he's itching to get back on the court. He hates sitting down, um, but yeah, and I can't wait to get back out there and um, you know, kind of um, you know, uh, pick up some chemistry, some some things that uh, you know we just know, you know, with each other. Um, but most of anything, there's everybody else. You know, everybody's here. Um, you know, in in Cleveland. Um,
because that guy, everyone wants to be a part of, you know, um, what he brings and his greatness. And um, everyone's excited to get out there when, he, when he's ready to go. Yeah, the, the five guys that tie to start the first two games is really, you guys are really new. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. And you've left the leads, you've built 20 point leads. So, for you guys, is it going well? Would you say it's gone pretty well? Yeah, um, yeah definitely. Um, this is, it's just a lot of ball movement and body movement. Um, and, you know, guys playing their game. You know, it is, I don't feel like anyone out there has had to sacrifice what they want to do. You know, um, we got certain guys who want to shoot, certain guys who, me and D Rose, who like to penetrate, um, et cetera. You know, we can get to certain things that we like to do. Um, and, and everyone's fine with it. So, you know, it's definitely been, it's definitely, uh, for me, it's, you know, it's been, the court is so much hoping, um, in a sense, it's definitely, uh, a good, a good thing, you know, when you have an ability, you know, D Rose and myself trying to penetrate, and you got Kevin over here, and you got JR right here, the defense can't help as much, and they do. These guys knocking down shots, and Jay as well. Uh, so it's, it's, it's good, man. It's, it's fun to play out there with those guys for sure. Kevin Love was making some nice shots, but you know, Team SCG, that's about it, man. Uh, you know, this, this, we got some D Wave flashes up in here. But it's really hard to tell until we, first we got to see LeBron play with this team, and then second of all we got to we got to see this team play against you know real people, real teams like in the actual season. That's what I meant. So like this NBA season coming up, Cavs for Celtics. Oh my goodness, that is going to be an Eastern Conference Finals mentality game right there. It's the first game of the season, but I am telling you that game is going to be personal. I can't even wait. If y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like if you made it this far. Let me know if you made it through the whole entire reaction. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24-7, 24-7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Radio Hall of Fame Basketball. The first NBA radio for all the fans around the world. Radio Hall of Fame Basketball. We talk about NBA. We talk about passion. We are your radio.